Shalom everybody and welcome back and we will see already Chodesh Tov. We have the month of Adar starting very soon, Adar number one. Before we start, again just a friendly reminder that if you have been liking these classes and they're helping you, the light of Rabbi Nachman is, is, is shining in, please, please share these classes on your status and whatever else you can share them to get the word out. We're continuing where we left off, Likut Alachot, section Or Chaim. The Laws of Birkat Hoda'a, The Blessings of Giving Thanks, Discourse Number 6, Paragraph 24. This point that Rav Nossin mentioned in the last section, the last class, where Yaakov said, An Anochi lo yadati. That specifically he said, and I didn't know, because he, from his not knowing, that's how he comes to know. And Rav Nossin wants to stress that this is such an important rule in life, that, you, that the way to come to know is you have to maintain the attitude that you're always not knowing. And Rav Nossin is going to open this up in an amazing way with proofs from the Gemara and from Rabbi Nachman himself, from other teachings from Rabbi Nachman. So he starts off like this, Rav Nossin. And again, this, this is the key for the Keter. This is the key to perceiving the infinite light. You want to advance in life, you're going to need this. You're going to need this attitude of not knowing and holding on to not knowing and accepting it in order to come to know. Because if you're always trying to know, trying to know, and then you have setbacks and you can't figure it out, and you get frustrated, you crash because you're frustrated because you want, you're trying to figure it out, you want to figure it out, and it's not jiving with you in your figuring out, so you crash, you don't want it and everything, as opposed to recognizing that this is part of the process. Part of the process, the main part is not knowing and accepting it with emuna and simcha, that's how you can advance. Look what he says. This, what we said just now, is the idea based on what the sages themselves say in the Talmud, in the Gemara. Masechet Sota, page 21b. Now he's quoting Rabbi Yochanan, but Rabbi Yochanan doesn't say these exact words. Rabbi Nosin is saying what Rabbi Yochanan, Rabbi Yochanan is trying to say. The Gemara says, I just want to quote you the Gemara. The Gemara says, Amar Rabbi Yochanan, Rabbi Nochanan said, "Ein divrei Torah mitkaimin ela b'mi shemesim atzmo k'mi she'eno." Okay, the, the words of Torah cannot be established in a person only in such a person who makes shemesim atzmo. He places himself. He makes himself k'mi she'eno, like someone who isn't, who is not. So now look how Rav Nosin reinterprets the Gemara. Rav Nosin says like this. Okay. Quoting the Gemara, but he just changes the words so you can understand what the Gemara is trying to say. Okay, what does it mean? Like someone who is not. So, Eina Torah, Rav Nosan again, quoting the Gemara and just changing the wording of Rabbi Yochanan. Eina Torah mitkaimet ela be mishimesim atzmo ke'eno yodea. The Torah is only fulfilled in someone who makes himself as someone who does not know. So, Rav Nosan there, the Gemara there is as someone who is not, which means humility. Rav Nosan is pointing out what does he mean, the essence of humility? That you make yourself humble that you don't know. That's humility. That you accept, I don't know. Like we said, I think in the last class, Rabbi Akiva, who was able to enter paradise with the other three sages and come out the only one normal. Because he didn't try to figure out what he saw. He accepted that he doesn't, he accepted that he doesn't understand. That's how he was able to perceive and come back and, and, and benefit from what he saw, from what he perceived. Okay, so that's what he's saying here also. The Gemara is saying, Rabbi Yochanan says there in Sota 21b, the Torah can only be fulfilled in someone who makes himself like he doesn't know. That's exactly what he said earlier. That the key for knowing is not knowing. And Rabbi Yochanan is going to stress it now. Watch. Because specifically through the lack of knowledge, the lacking, the, re the refrainment of knowledge, Okay, as opposed to the world who believe no knowledge, knowledge, advance, no. If you if you don't uh, don't if you don't know it, then you don't have to accept it. You have to get proof and everything. That stupid attitude, right? So he says specifically through a refrainment, a there, a lacking of knowledge, which is one and the same with the concept of the keter, which pushes a person back. It it it, it detains, refrains. And keeps a person stuck, ma'akev, puts him back. 
that he can advance, mentioned above, and you accepting it, specifically through this, do you merit to the perception of the Torah, which is the perception of intellect. He says it's one and the same. Here, he, he went into the idea of Torah and the perception of the intellect, like Yaakov Avinu had, for example. Rav is saying it's one and the same. Perception, perception of, the, of the Torah, perception of intellect, your advancement of your brain, it's one and the same. They have the same rule to both of them. That lacking of knowledge is the key to knowledge. Crazy, huh? Okay, and then he goes on further, Rav Nosim. That's from the Gemara. Now he's going to go into actual Breslov literature and Rabbi Nachman. Rav Nosim says, I already discussed this concept in depth. You can take a look in our teachings and another discourse in the Kutelachot, Tfilin Alachahe, which, by the way, has been translated in a free rendition edition by the BRI, Breslov Research Institute. It's called Tfilin a Hasidic Discourse by Rav Nosen of Breslev. It's this discourse number five. It's an amazing booklet if you can get it in English. Okay? So there Rav Nosen goes into this idea. Also he spoke about this elsewhere. This is in a place called The Laws of the Shul, Beit Knesset, in the Likut HaLachot. Discourse number five, section 19. Where Rav Nosen quotes what he remembers seeing from Rabbi Nachman. He saw from Rabbi Nachman the following. It was the way of Rabbi Nachman of blessed memory to say frequently, he would say the, the following frequently, Rabbi Nachman would say all, all of a sudden, now I know nothing. He could have just re revealed the greatest secrets and their greatest perceptions and the greatest Torah. And then right afterwards he would say, even he, he would swear even, Right now, I know nothing. I know nothing. And then after saying, I know nothing, Rav Nosen points out, And afterwards, after some time, after making that statement, and confessing, I know nothing right now, he would then have perceptions, awesome, wondrous perceptions he would reveal. And this happened many times, Rav Nosen says, Kol yemei chayav. Throughout his lifetime, as we saw it, Rav Nosen saw it, okay, that he would he would do this. He would say and proclaim, I know nothing right now. I know absolutely nothing. And from that know nothing <laughs> came the greatest knowledge, the greatest revelation of knowledge. Ketzel, he explains now the rule, okay? And this is also quoting Rabbi Nachman's wisdom, Sichot Aran, paragraph number three, the following. Ketzel kol yedi'av hasaga. For, to, to explain, and every time you have a perception and a, a knowledge, at that level, once you perceive it, okay, you have what's following it. What's the goal of that knowledge is to know that you don't know. You, you, you all of a sudden reach a level in understanding. It opens you up to such a newer level, newer dimensions that you have no grasp of whatsoever. So the new knowledge that you've now absorbed, internalized, makes you realize how much you don't know. So even what you know, vis-a-vis, -vis, compared to what you now are approaching to know, it's nothing. It's nothing. As great as it was an accomplishment, compared to what's behind, beyond it and behind it, I know nothing now. And a person proclaims that. So he's saying, we're listening. After every perception, there is, right? So one second. Ketzel kol yediav hasaga. Because at, by every single perception and awareness and, you know, a, 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 a knowledge, there's this concept of the goal of knowing, tachlit idea, is that you don't know. Like we said, it's followed by a not knowing because that's what it does. It lifts you up a level. Your awareness is heightened. You're opened up to totally new levels. And you say, compared to what's here now, what I know is nothing. And I'm just overwhelmed from what I'm seeing of how much I don't know that even what I absorbed is nothing compared to there. And now that's what I'm holding. He tells you, look at this concept elsewhere. 
And we're going to look into this right now. This is, he's quoting Sichot Haran, Rabbi Nachman's Wisdom, paragraph number three. Okay, we'll just read the first half of the paragraph. Rabbi Nachman said the following. He flieg me'od, or Rav Nussan's writing about Rabbi Nachman, sorry. He flieg me'od b'gdula tabor yitbarach shamo. Rabbi Nachman spoke very great, very uh, profusely in the greatness of the greatness of Hashem, blessed be He. Ve'iv shal leba'er zot b'ikhtav, and you can't even put it to writing. Ve'amal, and Rabbi Nachman said the following. Ki l'gdula tabor yitbarach ain shi'ur. To the greatness of the, of the Creator, blessed be He, there's no limit. Because wondrous, awesome things are happening in the world, you don't even know about it. Awesome and wondrous things are happening in the world, and nobody knows anything about it. No one has a clue. Everyone thinks, <laughs> they think they know what's happening in the economy, and this, and the government, and politics, and these secret organizations. The truth is, nobody knows what's really happening. Hainu, so explains the idea. Shadain en yodim shum idea klal klalo. That as much as you know, there you still have nothing, you have accomplished nothing in knowing. You, 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 we still don't know any knowledge at all that can be considered a complete piece of knowledge. Okay? And now he goes into the point. Vegam ma ki tachlit ha And also this concept brought down in a book called Bechinat Olam. Bechinat Olam is the name of the book. Rabbi Nachman is quoting this lesson also in the Kutim Moran, Lesson 24. Also what's brought down, that the goal of knowledge is not to know. Right? The goal of knowledge is to know how much you, you don't know. Even that statement, it's not the final level. This applies to each piece of knowledge. In other words, each piece of knowledge has after it, I don't know. But after that, not knowing, there's a level of knowing, which is followed by another level I don't know. But after that level of not knowing, there's another level of knowledge, and that's followed by I don't know. So that even making a statement, oh, the goal, the goal of knowledge is, not, is to know how much you don't know. That's at every level. <laughs> it's at every level. It's not like, okay, at the end of my life as an accumulation, I'm going to realize how much I don't know about Hashem. <laughs> doesn't work like that. Every stage of your life, there's a level of like that, and then it's followed by a new yediyah, a new level of awareness, and followed by a not knowing, and it doesn't end. It does not end. Okay? In other words, when even you reach the tachlita yediyah, the, the final level of that piece of knowledge, of awareness, of, of wisdom, okay, which is lo neda, I don't know, Nonetheless, Adain ends at Tachlit. It's still not the final goal. It's still not the end. There's still more beyond that. Because this goal that you didn't know is only within that piece of knowledge, that aware, that, that level of knowledge, in that itself, you've reached its personal not knowing. But it's followed afterwards by another level of knowledge. Okay? Okay? But when it comes to the level of knowledge and awareness, which is higher than that, you didn't even start at all. Okay, you have another level to reach of knowledge, followed by another level of level of not knowing, and that not knowing is followed by a level of knowing, etc., etc. Okay. Nimtza shel olam en yodin klal klalo. So therefore, bottom line is that forever you will never really, really know. <laughs> Because it always followed knowledge, not knowing. Knowledge, not knowing. But it's at every level. There's levels. And nonetheless, even if you say, I don't know, that's not the goal. Because you still did not reach to begin at all to know the knowledge which is above the present level that you're holding, that this present level of knowledge that you're saying now, I don't know. I have no idea what it is. You still haven't touched the next level of knowledge, okay? Fine. That's what Vanosin is quoting here. Sikhot Teran Rabbi Nachman's wisdom. You can see it inside. Paragraph number three. Okay? Vacharkach, but the rule is that this is how we grow. This is how a person advances his life. It's black, white, black, white, dark areas of life, cloudy, unclarity, and then white, light. And then again, unclarity. That's how it is. 
That's how it is. You're trying to find the perfect life. It doesn't exist. The way of the Torah is this way of knowing, not knowing, knowing, not knowing. Things are just working out. Oh, I went smiling. The family's okay. And this and then that. And then boom, you're hit with a frustration and confusion and you have no idea what's happening. And then there's an opening. Wow. I can't believe I went through it. I made it through. And you're, you're thankful and it's amazing and you have a clarity in life. And then boom, this clarity. What just happened? I thought everything was clear. No, no, no. That's how it is. And you have to accept it that this is the process. This is how the procedure of how it works. Okay? So like you said, and afterwards you merit through specifically this attitude, this process, this procedure, that you nullify yourself. Okay? That's what the Gemara says, She'eno. That you nullify yourself and you know that you don't really know. To this specifically, you merit afterwards to perceive that which you need to perceive from the lack, the refrainment of the knowledge to knowledge. And even so, it's not the goal. Okay? Shezeu Bechinat. And also, Rav Nosan says this, like the Gemara, the Gemara itself quotes this verse. The Gemara is quoting this verse. Rav Nosan says this is the idea of the verse from the book of Eov, Job, chapter 28, verse 12. The Gemara itself, Rabbi Yochanan, in his statement in the Gemara, in Sota 21b, when he made this statement, like the verse reads in Job, and wisdom, knowledge, from nothing, from ayin, nothing, will you find it. From the, no, the not knowing, that's how you come to chokhmah. And Rav Nosson is saying, this is the attitude you have to have when you're learning Torah. If you come with the attitude, yeah, I know, I know, and I'm absorbing knowledge, absorbing knowledge, you're not going to get the point. You got to enter the attitude at every stage, I have no idea what I'm entering. And you're learning with that. You're learning, you're absorbing, but it's always putting the knowledge in not knowing, in emuna. That's what he says, Rabbi Nachman, in Lesson 24, joining emuna with the sechel is this, that you're knowing, and you're putting in it, in, in, in not knowing. It's, 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 the cup is not knowing, and I'm putting my knowledge in the cup of not knowing, because that's the greater part. I'm knowing, but I know that how much, it's going to open me up to how much I don't know. And that's how you learn Torah. That's how you learn, that's how you absorb true mochin, true intellect, and true Torah. That's how it enters in, okay? So this is the idea, Rav Nosson says, and wisdom, knowledge, from nothing can it be found. Timatse. Me'ayin daika, Rav Nosson says, specifically from nothing, from not knowing. V'akol al-yedei simchat ha-mitzvah, reminds us, Rav Nosson, how do you get to this? How do you get to these levels of knowing things that even the greatest rabbis can't get sometimes because they're not, they're not following this process? The greatest people, the greatest brains, the greatest thinkers, they don't get to the point because they're lacking this point. And he says, Rav Nosson, where does it begin from to get this? V'akol al yedei simchat ha-mitzvah. All this comes about by a person being happy in doing mitzvot. It's one thing to do the mitzvah, and it's a greater thing to do the mitzvah with joy. If you do the mitzvah with joy, you are prepared. You are preparing the, the platform to be able to receive this type of knowledge, what comes in the package deal of not knowing. Knowing in order to not know, and then not know to know, and then the know to not know, okay? Mechanis Karlel and as mentioned.